Hey guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you will not regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back. And I do appreciate your support, as always. Guys, listen, this is a follow-up to a video I did a couple of days ago when I was speaking in reference to the young man who died in Fulton County Jail custody. And a lot of people are saying that uh, bed bugs, him being eaten alive by bed bugs, was one of the main culprits which I agree or I can't agree or disagree, but I know something contributed to this man's death. And I'm talking about none other than LaShawn uh, Thompson. Now, now that this news, this has made news, I'm doing a follow-up video because of a lot of people are starting to come under pressure and a lot of people are starting to get let go. Or so they say. Now we all know in the last few months, a lot of crazy stories have been coming out of Fulton County Jail. You know, we had the story about the inmate, the inmates telling guards what to do. Guards setting inmates up to get stabbed, leaving doors open and stuff all against normal protocol. We get we had uh, this situation here, you know, and it's just a whole bunch of stuff going around to where, you know, people are calling for this jail to get closed down now. As far as LaShawn McCoy, uh, LaShawn McCoy, <laughs> LaShawn Thompson's story goes, you know, it's a lot of stuff that, you know, a lot of questions got to be answered. Now, a lot of people are blaming uh, Patrick Labatt, the uh, sheriff of Fulton County. Is it his fault? I don't know if it's his fault or not, you know, because he's spoken out like the, like this uh, article says against the conditions of the Fulton County Jail in which he's in charge of housing inmates. Now, if you're the sheriff of a whole county, in fact, let me just say that. Guys, take a look at this video and you'll figure out where I'm going with this. Check it out. Three top ranking jailers, part of the sheriff's own executive team are gone. They resigned after the sheriff asked them to step down. This comes just days after the family of LaShawn Thompson revealed horrifying evidence of how they say he died in his jail cell. 11 Alive's John Shearick has the story as the sheriff says this shakeup is just getting started. The photos just released from inside the Fulton County Jail showing LaShawn Thompson's cell, the bed bug infested cell where Thompson was being held for a misdemeanor charge where he died this past summer. Photos that were part of the medical examiner's autopsy of Thompson. They are now part of the public outcry over conditions inside the jail that led Fulton County Sheriff Patrick Labatt to declare Monday, quote, it is past time to clean house. Out are three veteran members of the sheriff's executive team, the chief jailer, Colonel John Jackson, and two assistant chief jailers, Lieutenant Colonel Derek Singleton and Lieutenant Colonel Adam Lee. The Thompson's family attorney, Michael Harper, applauds the sheriff's actions, and yet. We have to say that the sheriff was aware of LaShawn Thompson's death back in September and, and the conditions in which he died back in September. So we do have to wonder if the international attention to this case it's what made the sheriff make the changes. Sheriff Labatt was not available for an interview Monday evening. Ever since he took office in 2021, Labatt has decried conditions at the jail, which was built in the late 1980s. It's deplorable. It is, we need to treat people better. I have a duty, I took an oath. I have a duty to treat people humanely. Sheriff Labatt also now investigating to find out all those on his staff who might have failed Thompson. Attorney Michael Harper points to years of ongoing problems inside the jail threatening the lives of inmates and staff alike. But better late than never, and, and maybe to save another family from having to go through another tragic, unnecessary death. And Harper says he still plans to lead a protest on Thursday at the jail over conditions inside where LaShawn Thompson spent the final weeks of his life. In a well, guys, do you have the uh, news article? Guys, I had spoke out in my last video about this, which I'll leave in the pop-ups at the end of this uh, video in case you guys didn't see the other video on this story, that uh, they needed to get an independent autopsy. And I said that in the video. And thanks to uh, ex-NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who said he's going to pay for it and help the family, they're going to get this independent autopsy. And that's what they need to do. You know, you can't never trust anything when it comes down from the state when they've done some wrongdoing to, to a loved one and all the fingers point at them. 
So that's a good thing they did. That was smart. That was a smart move. But listen, the three gentlemen pictured here are the ones that was fired, right? They're all in high command and they've been let go. If you pay attention to it, they wasn't even fired. Like I just said, they wasn't even fired. The sheriff asked him, hey, man, you know what? Just step down. Just, just step down. You know, news article said if this hadn't made national news, got to wonder if Patrick Labatt was really going to do that. If he was going to really, really let him go. Because think about it. If they in charge of running the jail, the thing with the leaving the doors unlocked, the inmates telling the prisoners what to do. I mean, the, the prisoners telling the inmates what to do as far as committing crimes in there. All this craziness going on in jail. They should have been out of there. And honestly, in my opinion, I think something need to happen to the warden, too. Unless he ain't never there. Because, you know, a lot of times these guys had these jobs. The warden might come in there three, four times a month. They'll have an office in there, but they'll be playing golf somewhere. Because who's going to tell the warden what to do if he's in a jail? Think about that. I was in Camden County Jail for three years straight, fighting a case. No, two and a half, two years straight, fighting a case in New Jersey. I seen the warden one time coming to, to the wing, to the tier I was on. I seen him one time. These people be sitting around collecting paychecks. Patrick Labatt, he said that, oh, I got an oath. It's my duty and all of this. Okay. I'm sure he's older than me. I got common sense. If I see the TV and all this crazy stuff, guards is doing and all that stuff, and I'm the sheriff, I'm holding a mass meeting. Y'all making me look bad. I'm trying to get reelected. Y'all better get it in order. Or you start going to people, talking to the warden. Now, I don't know who has more power, the warden or the sheriff, but I mean, something got to be done. You would be pushing for some type of prison reform, at least in Fulton County, because you know it's fucked up. You know it's messed up. So all of this, oh, it's my duty. I don't think you pushed that envelope to the fullest. You didn't push that narrative all the way to where you need to put because this man shouldn't have died. Them other inmates shouldn't have got uh, stabbed up and all this stuff. And guards should not be so loose to where they risk their job because they have no fear of getting fired that they would leave gates and doors unlocked and let's, or turn their head for a payoff when inmates are getting stabbed up, the same inmates they're supposed to uh, keep order in there and make sure they make it to trial or serve their time. Being in there was like that movie, Escape from New York, New York or Escape from L.A. Think about it. That place needs to be shut down because obviously nobody knows what to do and don't know the difference between good and evil. And everybody's in there about paying, making a uh, paycheck. The lady was stealing overtime, $130,000. Now she locked up in there looking stupid. Same with the, sink, the, the, the finger sucking sister that's in there. The CO or whatever she was, you're a sheriff. You're supposed to be watching the inmates, not showing them what you do with the pipe. Come on, man. Come on. This man died from bed bugs. I mean, this, not even from bed bugs. Look at the cell. I'd have died in there. That shit looked like a cesspool of bacteria and funk. Think about it. You pass medication out every day. He was in the psych ward. I know it had to stink in there. Nobody seen that. You might as well took that man and put him in a landfill and put a glass cube around him with a window and pass the medication through there. Who can eat in that thing? He wasn't eating or drinking. Who can eat in that? That right there will create delirium. That right there will make you die. Because who going to be happy in a position like that? That's massive depression. That don't tell you somebody going through something. With, that, think about it. He's going through something to be comfortable in that shit. He wasn't eating his food. And I already know how it was. Knock on the door. Hey, you're going to eat today? He probably ain't talking to himself. Oh, fuck it. He'll get hungry enough. And I think that's what they do. That's why I said I think they starved him. Oh, he'll get hungry enough and he'll talk. But if you're not in your right mind, your body not going to function normally. He might be asleep when they come by. Ah, he'd be all right. And they keep passing the shifts. And nobody remember the last time he ate. And I think part of that was they starved him. Part of it. Because he didn't have the strength to even scratch to get that shit off of him. I'm getting turned up. Listen, guys. 
Y'all think the uh, sheriff should get fired? I honestly do. Even before this. You know, he's sitting up there looking like the rock and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, the rock do that eyebrow. I can't do it. The eyebrow need to be pointing at him and the warden. Warden need to face something too. Because he was collecting money when doing shit. Think about it. Y'all are supposed to house the prisoners, not let them just tear each other apart and, and do crazy stuff to them. Sometimes when you're around people that are evil and all this other stuff and, 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 and people that do bad stuff, you turn into that. And it was just on the opposite side of the bars or the, or the gate. That's my opinion. I'm Stock Market Steve. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I hope the family of the Sean Thompson gets some type of justice. And I hope they do something with this Fulton County Jail because this whole situation is bullshit. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.